Hello everyone. Welcome back to Pixel Village and I'm Radha Krishnan. Well, it was not so long ago that uh, Fuji upgraded one of their entry level cameras, the XA5 to XA7. And today they announced another upgrade of another entry level camera. Their XT100 got upgraded to XT200. That's right, the XT200. And we would like to thank uh, Fujifilm India for trusting us uh, with a camera which was uh, not released anywhere. So we had it uh, before the worldwide launch and it's still not released in the country in India. So thank you Fuji. Okay, now to the camera. Now anyone who has used the X-T100 will feel that they are holding the X-T100 barring a few minor changes but with major impact okay the changes are first an improved grip okay so it stays more comfortably in your hand one second is now you have a fully articulated uh, 3.5 inch lcd instead of a three inch just three way tilting you know lower resolution in fact the resolution was half of the current uh, uh, lcd and what you will enjoy most is the revised 16 to 9 aspect ratio in this uh, xt 200 which means you can see your full hd 4k video footage in full screen the earlier one had only a 3 is to 2 aspect ratio which means that you will have to live with uh, a cropped uh, lcd while shooting video now this LCD also has much better resolution and it is also fully touch sensitive. Fuji claimed that this is as good as uh, iPhone 10, iPhone X, whichever you would like to call. Now that's a big claim because iPhone 10 was, you know, like a yardstick uh, when it was launched uh, during that time. So that's about the appearance. Now let's talk about the sensor. Now the XT200 comes with a brand new sensor. Same resolution, 24.2 megapixel, but with a better wiring. They use copper wiring instead of whatever they were using earlier. They guarantee better signal transfer it will benefit you in low light photography. They claim that the camera now has an improved uh, low light sensitivity by one stop. But the major changes are in the video capability of this uh, camera. Now this can shoot 4K up to 30 frames. The earlier camera, the X-T100 could shoot 4K only up to 15 frames, which is virtually kind of useless. This can shoot 4K at 30 frames. Not only that, it shoots the video in full frame, uncropped in 6K and down sample it to 4K, which means your image is likely to have a much better video quality than it used to be. Mind you, this is an entry level camera. Besides that, uh, the camera boasts of uh, a high speed shooting up to 120 FPS in Full HD and also a much more improved digital video image stabilization. 
well, they call it the digital gimbal, which means I am assuming that you will be able to walk with the camera without the help of any, you know, stabilization, external stabilizing devices and walk with the camera with the digital gimbal enabled and get more stabilized footage. Of course, we will see how effective it in the, you know, in the real world. Another interesting feature, video feature, which this camera has is uh, HDR video, which is available only in full HD mode. Basically, the camera shoots uh, two frames in bracket mode and combines them into one image. So the camera actually shoots 60 frames and gives you a full HD 30 frame HDR video. Very effective uh, if you are shooting in very kind of, you know, high contrast, uh, very difficult lighting situations and full HD is all that you need. Remember, this is only an entry level camera, but uh, Fuji has not compromised in their design at all because they are known for their classic, you know, old camera feel with a lot of new features built digital features built into it. Well, as usual, let's get out, test these stills, uh, do some videos, come back and uh, see those visuals and talk a little bit more about the all new Fuji X-T200. So it took us uh, three more days. Uh, we are on the 26th of January. Uh, because we delayed the shoot, uh, because we were wanting to find an appropriate, uh, you know, occasion, location to test the uh, X-T200. So here we are today. This is the place where I live. And in this township, uh, we are celebrating the uh, Republic Day, the 71st uh, Republic Day of uh, India. Uh, well, it's a small celebration. Um, what we're going to do is to use our T200 and shoot there. Well, I'm using a Peak Design small sling bag, okay? It's a very comfortable bag. Since this particular camera is aimed at, let's say, a traveler, someone, a vlogger, someone who would don't want to really carry too much stuff around, this is a perfect bag. Uh, so it's a Peak Design bag. You can put your um, mobile phones in it, a couple of, you know, your personal belongings while you travel, um, and of course, your T200 and uh, I'm using it uh, with the kit lens which is the 1545. We're going to be shooting a few stills, few videos, few slow motions and let's see if we get an appropriate uh, you know scene. We'll also shoot some HDR video. I think the celebrations have started. Let's go in and take some shots. Come with me.
All right, now this is the selfie mode uh, uh, because of this extra large uh, monitor which is here. Uh, I can do the selfie very well. Uh, this is 4K and I'm doing the audio externally using a filmmaker kit. This also has an internal stereo microphone uh, right at the top of the body, but I am depending on the filmmaker kit uh, for recording the audio. Now what I'm going to do is a few friends are standing there. Let's go there and see what they're going to talk about uh, the Republic Day. They are in, in the true spirit of celebration. I'm going to shoot some HDR movie. The first one is without HDR. Okay. And uh, the same thing with HDR on. So what do you think of the XT200? Well, we think that it is definitely an upgrade from the X-T100 and definitely a better camera than the X-A series. Of course, X-A series is priced much lower and it's aimed at the absolute beginner. Whereas, uh, you know, if somebody who started caring about their images, both stills and video, well then X-T200 is, a, you know, very, very a predictable upgrade. Uh, well, Indian prices are not known yet, but internationally, uh, the camera with a 1545 lens um, is priced at about $800, which translates into roughly about uh, about 56, 60,000 Indian rupees. Uh, going by what uh, Fuji has done in the past, the Indian prices should be somewhere around that region give or take a few thousands. Fuji has a very well-defined uh, product range. Uh, the XA series and now the X-T100, which is X-T200 now, is for the entry level. A serious amateur will prefer the X-T30 and for the professionals, you have the X-T3 and the X-Pro3. Of course, we recently featured the X-Pro3, which we really loved. Uh, so this camera, which is retailing at about uh, $800, uh, comes with a 1545 lens, like I said before. And if you have another $500 more, well, then the X-T30 with the 1855 lens may be a better choice. But if you don't have that $500 additional money, but still want all those features. Well, a couple of them are better in this because the stabilization is better in this. Well then, this is a right choice. This is perfectly suited for a vlogger, a family man who wants to go out on a vacation and take very good quality picture. He is not really satisfied with their mobile phones and wants good quality videos and stills. Uh, to such a person, this is brilliant. Somebody who wants to learn photography seriously and wants to one day become a photographer, this probably is a good starting point. That's it. Well, we'll have to wait for the Indian release, which hopefully will be sometime very soon. Well, in this video, we would like to give a shout out to one of our uh, favorite YouTuber, Ashok Verma. Well, he's an amazing fashion and street photographer from Dubai. Please watch his amazing content. Well, he's a little too frank and on your face. But if you can take it, there's a lot to learn from Ashok. Please subscribe and like his YouTube channel. Bye for now.